Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a new mod that I just released for Paul World, this being a first person perspective mod. And as the name says, it is a mod to be able to play Paul World from a brand new camera angle, that being one of a first person perspective. It is a pretty simple mod, but it maintains things like UI elements and other things, so I think it's something that is definitely a fun thing to play around with, and I'm mainly posting the mod because I personally wanted to be able to play Paul World in the first person. Over the course of this video, I will explain how to install this mod, then I will explain some of the bugs and what we're working on to fix those bugs, and I'll close the video out with a bunch of footage for you to enjoy. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> So to start off, you're going to need to install the mod. When we're talking about installing the mod, there are two different places you can go. One will be Nexus, as always, uh, and I'll have a link to the Nexus mods link below, which will also work through Vortex. Or if you don't like Nexus, there's also CurseForge, which will also be hosting the mod. Both will be up to date with whatever newest update I have at the moment. Once you've installed it though, that's when things get a little bit more complicated. And if you've ever used UE4SS before this, or if you've already set up UE4SS for Paul World, feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp marked in the description. But for everyone else, we're going to have to set up UE4SS. UE4SS is a scripting API thingy, and for those who don't exactly know what all those words mean, don't worry, it's a thing that's going to let us load mods in Paul World, is the TLDR. So in order to set it up, we're going to have to go to the UE4SS GitHub page, which will be linked again, both on Nexus and on the CurseForge link for this mod, and we're going to have to follow a series of setup. In both cases, we're going to be installing the UE4SSX input version 2.5.2 zip. This is the file that contains UE4SS. But if you're on Steam, you're going to be extracting this to Paul World, Paul, Binaries, Win64. While on Game Pass, it's going to be Xbox Games, Paul World, Content, Pal, Binaries, WinGDK. Then, in the Game Pass version, you're going to need to rename x input one underscore three to x input one underscore four. And in both versions, you're going to need to go into the UE4S settings.ini file and set BU's object array cache to false. If that seems like a lot, do not worry. It's all noted on the mods installation page. And I will always be willing to help anybody who has any issues with this in my personal Discord, which again is linked below and on the mod page. Another thing is, if you have a lot of problems with UE4SS, as some people have been kind of having a lot of headache with it, don't worry, there's also the Paul World Modding Discord, which I have found is very responsive to being willing to help people with that issue. So, UE4SS is now set up. Now for the next step. You're going to need to drag the mod folder, which you downloaded off of one of the mod websites, into the pack folder, specifically into a folder within the pack folder called Logic Mods. This folder should be created by UE4SS, but if it's not, you can make it manually. Again, if you're using Vortex, Vortex will handle all of this automatically. Boot into the game after doing this to join and really be able to use all this. And once you've logged all the way in and you're in a world and you're able to play, you should be able to hit the Alt and the C keys, this being left Alt and C, to be able to enable first person. There is no way at the moment to disable it bar just resetting your game to the title screen. So once you're in first person, you're kind of going to be there for a while. That's really all the basics of setup and really all you have to do so far. So if that's all you were here for, good job. But from here, we should kind of talk about some known issues that are known at this stage of the mod for things that are like kind of warnings that you should not do at this point. One, do not ride any mounts at the moment. At the moment, what, what happens when you ride a mount is it will violently bug out the camera and could potentially sink you off the side of the map. I've had it happen to myself several times. I mean, I was playing in the first person mod, enjoying my day. I got on side my Pokachu, and then I promptly had to leave the game because everything went awfully. So in these situations, just, just don't ride mounts until I fix it. There's a big warning on the mod page for this. Please read the warning. Do not skip the warning. Um, so that's the one issue. The other issue is there's sometimes it just will not work. And this is not a me issue. This is a UE4SS. It is 
sometimes strangely difficult to install UE4SS. And if you find the mod is not working, um, just again, come to my Discord. I will communicate with you to see if we can get it working for both of us. But that's really all of the warnings and content thingies I have to talk about for this mod. Um, I, I think this mod's pretty cool. It's a pretty w cool way to see the game in a completely different light. And I'm now going to let some footage play to demonstrate why I think this mod is a cool little creation. Hopefully you enjoy, and this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see you all next time. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh! 
Ooh. 